All right, there you guys. We're back at Yogi Instinct. Another package, another day, another start of Beyblade unboxing. So today, I'm a little tired up because I've just finished my office work and I'm, I'm like done for the day. So you may find me a little tiring, but that's pretty much it. And this box I've been waiting to be unboxed almost seven months. It was in the last line of my defense of Beyblade packages and I didn't know when to unbox it. So it's going to be a complete surprise pack for me to find it out what even is inside. Even I don't know what's inside. So it's going to be really, really crazy to pull it up and find what we get out of here. First thing we get is a Drigger V2 RC version. Now this is really really crazy because RC versions is really hard to find already and getting a Drigger V2 that mint is just awesome. So I kind of already love that fact. Moving on forward, this is the jumper base on some Beyblade, I don't remember its name really. It's probably some old generation Beyblade but it still looks like Kenny's Beyblade more than anything because you know the way it's made it, it looks more like a Kenny's Beyblade than anything else anyways moving on forward Dragoon Dark Dragoon and I'm telling you guys this is a very rare Beyblade okay it was only released as a single part the others were just like random boosters but this was released like specially so Dark Dragoon it's rare okay moving on forward we do get a master drone, so I'm definitely keeping this one because I love the blue color and the green base oh my goodness it looks awesome with the dark blue and the red stickers probably gonna need more stickers from dark psych for the bottom base but let's see a fake Wolborg. i mean that is just crazy and it even makes the noise i look at that that is so cool anyways moving on forward for the next fake base bay we have y board no that's seaboard that's seaboard right orange beyblade reminds me of tuesdays Grifolion, this is totally Takara to me and it looks so awesome. Just the uh, sticker has to be re glued. I mean, I don't know why they lose stickers so easily. And my goodness, you just broke my heart. That is trigger F damage. I don't want to speak about this. This is heartbreak, guys. This is this is this is definitely not it. Okay, I do get something to make my heart up a little bit. This is the blue version of Volborg 1. And I am in love with the fact that I finally have it. I'm going to need some new stickers with that. Or maybe I don't because it looks cool without the stickers actually. Moving on forward, we do get Volborg 4 as well. But it's missing its base part. But never mind because to compensate that, we have this. Rock Bison's base. Imagine Volborg 4 on a Rock Bison's base. If I could just find the clip right... Uh, to fix it up it will be awesome oh but it's, but it's just that it just doesn't fix in there it's it's completely loose but if i could really manage imagine this beyblade would wreak havoc everywhere because it's rock bison's base so wide it's not gonna let touch anything and then the little borg's heavy weight it's gonna be in the center my goodness it'll be tough to handle this bay anyways i'm gonna keep it for fun Moving on forward, we'll get a Volborg 2 as well, which is the rubber base, Volborg bearing version. So Volborg 1, 2 and 4 in the same video? That is awesome. Anyways, moving on forward, we do get the rare bay wing attacker or defenser. And I'm telling you, it's getting rarer, okay? So we do have a Salamoleon completely mint with all the stickers. I'm gonna go up for sale. Let's see, what else do we have? ultimate frostic dronzer okay this is definitely gonna go into my collection rare bay number one the first beyblades ever created these were these so it's awesome to have one more of the rear color the rare color rear color i mean uh, so if you have a cerberus that is looking awesome already i'm gonna put in a mint ar because i do have a mint ar as well and the bearing works perfectly fine looking beautiful Okay, this one is a little crazy one. Uh, spring shooter. 
so you already know about that i previously explained that in my videos now imagine this fake beyblade it's got a bearing base and it's got some crazy attack ring i mean imagine when this guy would hit a bay my goodness if it's a left spinning beyblade i'm definitely getting wrecked so this is definitely looking really really crazy right there all right so moving on forward we do get a Wolborg in the white version and the tip resembles bearing a lot this bearing is never gonna get used so mini bays we got the launchers right here and how many do we have we have quite a lot yeah we do have quite a lot i'm pulling up and string if you know to see if we do get even more so i'm gonna put them aside for now let's quickly pull up the mini bays we get we get a dronzer spiral yeah dronzer spiral miniature transparent clear version what else do we get let's see let's see let's see let's see we do get a flash leopard right there looking really really awesome and what else do we get what else do we get uh we do get these crazy looking beyblade these used to come with the stadium but i don't have the part to fix them up i probably already broke them and anyways moving on forward one of the most sought out bays that i wanted is this i even forgot the name of this bay it's a very rare beyblade but i i don't remember the name much of it rebound defensor or something like that rebound defensor uh frostic dronzer in the sky blue version completely original attack ring i'm gonna make them full base because i do have the parts a miniature dragoon v and what else do we get a miniature dragoon f transparent version i like the fact how they made the even the you know, weight disc in there which looks really really crazy and we do get a devil beyblade which is the uh, dronzer spiral with the seaborg base brown but the devil word on it that looks crazy okay moving on forward we do get a flash leopard it's really hard to see in this light because it's black and black things don't really get to see like just this launcher hms launcher which is really hard to find these days probably gonna keep them to myself because hms launchers no selling metal bronzer completely different every part on there is just crazy okay we do get a bronzer f and a drosil f both are blue versions of their stock counterparts and we do get a running core so i'm getting a lot of crazy little little items in this lot like this running core from hms uh i, I don't know i believe it's for advanced striker or advanced everazer both of them one of the same this is the first prototype Beyblade ever created. Uh, so just to comp compensating that, they were created in numbers, I guess. They upgraded the later design, made them into Bay Goma, and then changed the counterparts. Oh wow, uh, Gaia G key. That is awesome. So a key for Gaia G. That is really really cool. And moving on forward, we do get a Dronzer GT key. That is even more awesome because Dronzer GT ski in such a lot that is just that is just pure luck I would say you won't find that anywhere and a spare weight disc for HMS kind of okay not really bad but this is the part that I wanted to show you all this is one of the rarest bay of them all this is Everion I, I don't even know how to say its name Everion Varion something like that i mean look at the shape the there's a head of a dragon on top which going like crazy pulling out there and the base is so crazy like those handles coming out of there i would say this would be a crazy bane battle of the free spin gimmick that it has it's really looking awesome to be honest with you Evarion. i don't know how to say its name honestly it's basically the bay that i mean in the japanese name of it it was mostly jinrai or you know something like that but it's really rare to find this bay and then even more rare to find is dragoon grip attacker i've been searching for this almost two years finally i have it and even still then it's missing the bit chip but i do have a spare bit chip of grip attacker that i've been collecting so far and i can put them in here it's gonna look awesome because it's already complete mint never used looking really really cool with the bit chip it's gonna look even better 
and there's one small little thing that I wanted to show you that I bought for this I thought this would be a red you know um, what do you call it uh, potion chip but it actually turned out to be Bahamut I later realized that so if anybody wants this chip you can let me know I'll put it up for sale because I really have no use for this I don't even have a left spinning base anyways moving on forward this is pretty much it for today's video guys if you need anything from here not everything I will be selling but whatever you need you can still ping me on my whatsapp and Instagram these will be up for sale as soon as you come and go it will be like that you can always let me know whatever you want to buy from here till then make sure you subscribe like and share the video and everything from here will not be for sale but some of them will still be so hit me up whatever you want till then yogi instincts is out